she is not she might not uh, so uh, may you not having any fever you're not having any rash uh, and you don't have any lumps and bumps and uh, you don't have any other symptoms sexually active but she is not having sex from few months because of she is embarrassed with while embarrassed while having sex with husband she don't have multiple partners okay um if it is trichomoniasis i should have a multiple partner this is bacterial vaginosis in bacterial vaginosis it will not be greenish it would it will be, be the grayish color it it can be it can be greenish as well it can be greenish that's the key it it can be greenish as well but it would be foul smelly but both okay. of them has a foul smelly isn't it yeah both of them could be foul smelly but trichomonas vaginalis is not a case uh, the trichomonas vaginalis is coming as a follow up for the male so we don't have any case like which in we have but we'll i'll tell you how to divide it in uh, so because i got the bacteria vaginosis in my exam it yeah, was it, there was uh, no color yeah it could be greenish it could be grayish it could be white but white curdy would be something like uh, uh, yes candidiasis yeah so but it could be copious it could be grayish it could be greenish so this is the key but how vaginosis can be greenish yes you are right vaginosis can be greenish as well okay okay so because that mix with the flora and everything it can give a grayish greenish something like that but I, I understand what you come uh, what you're trying to say about trichomonas vaginalis. Trichomonas vaginalis, there would be other symptom uh, like itchiness and all that, and similar to that uh, trichomonas vaginalis. But I will I will differentiate that. I will do the trichomonas vaginalis um, myself uh, as a ma male will be coming. That's a new scenario. I will do that. So now in this scenario, uh, sexually active, she is sexually active. No multiple partners. Okay, the, the sexual preference would be only um, vaginal sex, no other sexual preferences, no multiple partner, never had STI, no lower uh, abdo pain, no fever, no coil. It could be history of coil. She might have IUCD. She might have IUCD, okay? And she loves risk factors you need to ask Allah that she loves bubble baths. <clears throat> she like vaginal doshing. She like... Uh, like uh, soaps, perfumes, and she likes baths rather than showers. Okay. And uh, on, on assessment, on examination, you will not find anything. There would be a lot of concern, May, you will be asking about that. When she will explain that it is bacterial vaginosis, she wants to know how the bacterial vaginosis. Here, Allah, you don't need to refer the patient to the gum clinic because it's not a sexually transmitted yeah. disease. <laughs> mm -hmm. And she will again ask you, is, is this sexually transmitted disease? Because they have to score you on that. What medication you would prescribe? Where you yeah. will refer if you need to? Mm -hmm. And uh, what advices you will give? I want from you to explain the advices. Mm -hmm. And uh, what changes, what things you will safety net her? If however it's not sexually transmitted, but what will you safety net her? Ramesh, you are examiner, and uh, what I want that uh, in the chat box you write uh, your feedback, but don't send until it we finish. Okay, I will be writing in the chat box that it will save it will save more time, and we can do more scenarios if we write feedback while listening. Is that all right? So Ramesh, you ready? Use your chat box and uh, Savera, if you listening, you can use your chat box as well. And uh, in, at the end, you can give a, a feedback as well. So um, you can put on timer my yourself and uh, Allah would go for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, I need to put the timer then. Okay, give me a okay. moment. Do you want seven minutes or eight minutes? Eight minutes, eight minutes. All right. Give so time, is there some results already or this is the first visit to the GP? It would be the first visit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Begin. Enter the room. Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm here, Dr. Ala Kostova, one of the GP doctors from this clinic. May I ask with your name? My name is um, Sarah Smith, and I am um, 30 years old. Thank you for letting me know this information. <clears throat> I can see from my note that you have some concerns. Yes. Uh, Would you tell me more about this, please? I, I feel embarrassed to tell you about that. Oh, no worries about this at all. 
I'm practicing quite a lot. I am seeing uh, a lot of patients every day and it's absolutely fine to be chat with you. Just tell what's bothering you at the moment and we definitely will go ahead with this. Please. Okay. Um, well, there's, uh, I'm, I'm having like vagina discharge. All right, vaginal discharge. Right, a bit more information. I mean, what does it look like? How do you think? Um, well, it is uh, a bit like greenish in color. Mm -hmm. Greenish in color. Does it smell? Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. um, how would you describe this smell? It smells fishy. Right, I understand. It's quite embarrassing. Yes, now I understand. But anyway, we will go, go to the bottom of this and we we'll definitely will know what's going on. And for how long do you experience this problem? Well, for the last two months, I've been experiencing it. Two months, right? All right. And did something special happen before this? I don't know. I didn't do anything. Right. Maybe some changes in your hygiene, you know, maybe some changes in your everyday, uh, every evening's routines. Try to memorize this. Uh, well, yeah, so I, I love taking bubble bath. So I recently mm -hmm. buy those uh, bath bombs. Mm -hmm. You're really enjoying this? Ah, I, do, I, yeah, I do, I do. This is so relaxing for me. Good. That, that's nice to hear. Anyway, we need to have our own, you know, time to, to relax. And something more, maybe, um, do you prefer to have bath or shower? Well, bath, yeah. Bath. Because I oh, feel right. so relaxing with it. Right. Okay. I uh, understand. And a bit more about your discharge to understand it more. So, um, is it making something worse or better? Well, I just feel like there's nothing that can make it better. Mm -hmm. And is it constant every day, the same amount, or it changes? I don't feel like there's any changing. It's just the same amount all the time. Right. Did you do something for this to treat, to change it? Um. Well, yeah, I tried to use the, the perfume, uh, mm -hmm. but it doesn't help me at all. And also I tried to do as well, and it doesn't help me as well. Good. Um, do you feel any pain anywhere? No. No. So this is your main concern, or you have some other concerns apart from this discharge? Um, well, no, doctor. I just want to know what is going on with me.